Let's turn our attention to Brexit then. Uh, so the, the UK government uh, has... I was quite interested to, to read that the UK cabinet, this is the first time they'd actually sat down mm. as a full cabinet to decide what they want, and it is only a, what you want at the moment, this is going to be a negotiation, but what they want from a trade deal with the European Union. It still seems to be this Canada plus, plus, plus ambitious deal that's more than, much more than what Canada has. Chances of a success, what do you think? Well, first of all, I think you're absolutely right to be surprised that they're only having this discussion now. Um, and, you know, one, one rationally would have thought they would have had this discussion, you know, some months ago, if not years ago. So I think that that's the first observation. Um, you know, what's the, game, the end game going to be for Brexit? And the answer is that investors, uh, businesses, um, do not know. Um, we may end up with a Canada-type deal. We may end up uh, with a Norway-type deal. I think where we are moving uh, is probably, uh, and sort of the hard Brexiteers won't like this, but I think inevitably we are going to move towards, and I've always thought this, towards a deal very similar to what Norway has. So it will be a trade deal, yeah. but uh, there will be costs to that trade deal and in fact if you look over the last three or four years the per capita payment by Norway per capita I emphasize into the EU budget actually has been greater than the per capita payment that the UK which has been in the EU has made so it doesn't come cost free right and, and regulatory convergence is st still one of those uh, issues that's going to be grappled with over the course of the of the conversation is it to what extent do we diverge in terms of regulation to mm. uh, enable that trade to take place because at the same time the hardline Brexiteers seem to argue that a trade deal should be easy because we have a lot of regulatory convergence at the moment. But then they insist that we want to take control of that regulation to then diverge in the future, um, which which confuses me slightly. How do we get well, through this regulatory <laughs> convergence issue? Um, well, the, the answer is, if you want to trade with the world's largest trading bloc, the European Union, you've got to abide by European rules. You can't say we're going to trade with the European Union abiding by our own UK rules. So, you know, I think the answer to that is very clear. EU rules on trade will apply. And actually, there's no particular reason why the UK shouldn't, uh, shouldn't be uncomfortable with that. Um, I think what's more of concern is that if the UK does leave uh, with a hard Brexit, uh, to what extent can the UK then negotiate free trade deals with Asian countries, with uh, North American countries, whether it be the US and Canada? Um, and that will take a lot of yeah, time. Something and, to keep Liam Fox busy. And, well, the, the impression one gets is that you know, there's very little preparation going on there.